Yo, 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 what's up, boys and girls? Skinny Man here, and I am bringing you something completely different. Uh, it is a uh, indie game uh, dubbed Everyday Misanthropy, or what I have dubbed as the Douchebag Simulator. Um, this is a simple point and click game where you are just a general douchebag. And since, you know, apparently it is frowned upon to be for me to be a douchebag you know in the general public i will do it here so let us just go ahead and get started let's see you wake up yesterday was miserable you can only hope today will be at be as miserable 50 misery tokens you get out of bed with purpose you know exactly what you need to do today the same thing you do every day you have not ruined anyone else's life. Yet. It is an early Wednesday morning and you are and you are at home. Go to work. Skip work today. You skip work today. Unfortunately, this makes you <laughs> more miserable. <laughs> Aw, plus three misery tokens. Damn it. You failed to ruin anyone else's life. You won't be able to spread the misery unless you get out of the house. Try to work. Take the take the bus to work. Take the bus to work. Late. You get on the bus. It is not yet crowded, but it will be. Stare uncomfortably at people. Talk loudly on your phone. Take up more than one seat. Stare uncomfortably at people. You stare uncomfortably at people at other pa uh, uncomfortably at other passengers. They avert your eyes. You are tired. Stop for coffee. You stop for coffee. The coffee shop is busier than you expected at this time. You reach the front of the line and order your drink. Make it an impossible order. Make a very large order. Uh, let's see. Uh, take a really long time ordering. You ask a lot of questions about drink variations. It takes you several minutes to decide what to order. Minus one misery token. The customer directly behind you says unkind things beneath their breath. They will be late for work. Plus one life ruined today. Sweet. You were late for work and missed a meeting. Two co-workers waited for you to arrive for 20 minutes before canceling. Two lives ruined today. Woohoo! <laughs> Paul from accounting comes over to chat with you. Make an insensitive comment and claim it as just a joke. Make fun of his insecurities. Ignore him and start texting on your phone. Yeah, we're gonna do this. You point out his insecurities in a joking way. Jokey way. Minus two misery tokens. You are no longer friendly on friendly terms with Paul. He spends the rest of his day dwelling on his insecurities. Woohoo! Yes! Plus one life ruined today. You head to the local diner for lunch. Change your order multiple times. Make a mess. Send your food back. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah. You order a cheeseburger. Later, you ask to change it to pasta. Then you ask for a chicken sandwich instead. Minus one misery tickets. The chef complains to the server. Blaming her for the waste of time. Plus two lives ruined today. Woo! I am awesome. It is it. It's time to pay the lunch bill. Don't tip. Complain about the food demand you leave without paying. Yes, Dino Dash! Simply leave without paying. My take your misery sometimes. The owner yells at the server for letting <laughs> for letting him leave. The cost of the meals comes out of the server's meager paycheck. The bus boy is mad there's no tip to split. Three lives ruined today. <laughs> yes. Return to work and sit at your computer. <laughs> uh be your subordinates. Uh, no. You respond to... <laughs> yeah. Uh, you respond to a company-wide email <laughs> correcting... <laughs> Last one, misery. Sorry. Your co-worker is mortified that you mixed up you <laughs> and your... English is not even his first language. Plus one life ruined today. Woo! Uh, you check your work calendar. Change your meeting rooms without notification. Set up an important meeting for 7 p.m. Take a vacation during an important milestone. Um, yeah, we'll choose meeting rooms. 
you treat me rooms the opposite sides of the campus. You disable email notifications. <laughs> Ernie from engineering has a broken leg. He did not appreciate arriving in the morning. Oh, <laughs> yes. You take a bathroom break. No one else is in the room with you. Leave this sink faucet running. Don't flush. Clog the toilet. <laughs> Use the Use the toilet and then pile up all the toilet paper. You know, the clogged toy overflows. Gloria from publishing steps in the water and slips on the floor. The janitor parks the bathroom as out of order and there are no other bathrooms. Eight lives ruined today. <laughs> yes. This is awesome. <laughs> it's the end of it's the end of the work day. But your job isn't done yet. Go for a walk, run errands at the grocery store, go shopping at the mall. Uh, let's go shopping at the mall. There's a bunch of douchebags at the mall. You take the elevator to the second floor of the mall. Stand in the elevator facing the wrong way. Get into the elevator without lift, letting others leave first. Press all the buttons. <laughs> yes! You are, <laughs> you are on the first floor and need to go to the second. You press all the thirteen, all thirteen buttons. The last three minutes. A man taking the elevator to the thirteenth floor comes up with a new insult for each time the elevator stops. Plus one. <laughs> You're in the one of the high-end clothing stores. Try on lots of clothes, but don't buy any. Pull it. Yes. Put all the tags. Yes. Each one. Minus four minutes. Four teenagers come into the shop looking for a prom dress. They can't find the right size. Four lives ruined today. Yes. Progress. Okay. On your way out, you nonchalantly set off a security detector. A minimum wage security guard has to figure out how to reset the old alarm system. Plus one life ruined. You are bored of them all. Let's see. Let's go run errands at the grocery store. You arrive at the grocery store and start up. And start wandering the aisles. Take items back into place at the store. Fill a cart with food and abandon it at the aisle. Place junk food at the healthy snacks aisle. Yes. You take the colorful, high sugar, high calorie items and place them on the healthy snack shelf. The the shelf is low and within reach of kids. Minus four misery tokens. A parent leads their child to the healthy snacks, only to notice the sugar-filled fruit leather. The kid has a temper tantrum when he can't have it. The other shoppers are not amused by the loud screams. Seven lives ruined today. Oh, this is getting better and better, guys. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you take the grocery items and, and choose and choose a checkout line. Yes. With a full cart. Attempt to use expired kit. Pay with loose change. Your bill comes to 87.22. You start counting change. I <laughs> has eight misery tokens. You take as long as the cashier. Ch you take so long that the cashier shift changes in the middle of the transaction. Neither cashier are happy. <laughs> Two lives ruined today. Woo! Let's see. On your way out, you can you leave the shopping cart in the middle of the only free parking space. A woman throwing a party rushed. To the grocery store to get eyes. Unfortunately, the only free spot was taken up by a shopping cart. One life ruined. You're bored in the grocery store. Let's go for a walk. You go down. You go for a stroll downtown. Later, later as you see, walk in the center of the sidewalk. You walk down the center of the sidewalk. Minus five energy tokens. You create a traffic. You create traffic as. Ah, you create traffic as people are stuck behind you. A family heading your way has to split up as you saunter right through them. Three lives ruined today. On your way back from a walk, you run through a flock of pigeons. Twelve, <laughs> twelve pigeons startled. Twelve startled pigeons. Oh my God! I need to learn how to read. Who <laughs> have been enjoying bread fly away and do not return. Twelve lives. <laughs> I ruined pigeons' lives. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are bored of walking. Go home for the day. You take the metro home. 
eat something pungent. You know, listen to music on your phone without using headphones. Watch an episode of The Nanny. Yes. You listen to The Nanny on full volume. Minus six misery joke. Fran Drescher's laugh pierces even the most... <laughs> through most headphones. Even everyone can hear it. No one likes it. Eight lives ruined today. You're finally home. So are your neighbors. Unlock the lid on... Open your neighbor's gate so their dog escape. And honestly, call the police on your neighbors. Uh, let's see. I got three tokens left. Uh, what do you do this one? You unhook the neighbor's gate and prop it open as you head into your house. Nice two minutes. The dog escapes and runs into traffic. A driver steps on the brakes, barely missing the dog. Aww. The owner... <laughs> so we're at four lives are minute. You relax in front of your computer and open up Reddit. Oh, God. Downvote everyone. I only got one coin, so we'll download. You spend an hour downloading people. Minus one misery tokens. No one notices. You check the rest of social media. Uh, let's see. Share factually inaccurate political posts on Facebook. Use hashtags inappropriately on Twitter. Pretend naive ignorance. Pretend. Ah. Uh, pretend naive ignorance when discussing politically charged topics on YouTube. Uh. Uh, you share <laughs> you share an image linking vaccines, autism, chemtrails, and ethics, and game journalism. <laughs> what is one misery? Your strange uncle posts in agreement and argue, arguments break out among your extended family in the comment section. Three lives are with today. <laughs> you yawn. It is getting late and time for bed. You take a moment to reflect on the day. You have minus one misery. Does this make you uncomfortable? Does this ruin your play experience? Plus one life ruined it. You have ruined 66 people's days. It has been a terrible day. Accomplishment. Angie, a Starbucks customer who waited for you to order a sip of coffee, was late for work. Jeremy and Chris, co-workers who who dislike each other waited uncomfortably long in a meeting room you never arrived for. Paul from accounting spent the rest of the days dwelling on his insecurities. Gordon, head head chef at Bob's Diner, wasted time remaking an order three times. <laughs> Olivia, server at Bob's Diner, had to deal with the abrasive head chef. Bob from Bob's Diner dealing with a non-paying customer. Olivia, server for Bob, was docked for your meal out of her paycheck. Ricky, a busboy, had to clear your table without a tip. Clement, your French co-worker, had his English grammar corrected in front of the whole company. <laughs> Ernie from engineering, hobbling across the campus on a broken leg when his meeting room changed. Blair from publishing slips and falls. Quinn, the office janitor, had to spend most of the day cleaning the bathroom. Chia, Tammy, Nigel, Sandeep, Eric, and Pam were unable to use the bathroom. Robert rode the elevator as it stopped on every floor, cursing him. <laughs> Missy, Sophia, Jean, and Lily leave the mall without a prom dress since none of them fit right. Carlos, a minimum wage security guard, spent an hour trying to reset and hold on to that mall. <laughs> Jackson, a whiny four-year-old, throws a temper tantrum after saying and not allowed to have unhealthy snacks. Irene, Jackson's mother, tried to... Plus... Ah, you guys get it. Her son went to... Giving her junk food. Five shoppers at the Whole Foods can't help but cringe at the child's shrieks for junk food. David Cashier resents spending his last hour on his ship helping you count change at the grocery store. The other cashier nearly quits when she has to explain the difference between a nickel and a quarter to you. <laughs> Georgia, a woman throwing a party was inconvenienced by the shopping cart sitting in the- Ha <laughs> ha. Eliza and Freddy were rudely interrupted locked right between them. Gavin tries to get past you as you walk, but you always seem to be in his way. Well, pigeons started more startling and flew away from the delicious bread. Seven passengers and the bus driver were forced to listen to the nanny on Fort William. Ha ha ha! Roxy, the puppy that ran into traffic, 
nearly died. Heather, a driver, keeps thinking about how close she came to running over the a dog. Peter and Megan go over every inch of their fence to figure out how their dog escaped. Uncle Ted spends the rest of his life explaining his conspiracy theories on Facebook. Linda and William spend the night, spend the rest of the night telling Ted he's a new, he's an idiot. Ha! The player of this game finds the lack of functioning economy in this game concerning. Oh! Congratulations! You ruined a total of 66 lives today. Thank you for playing. Oh, well, guys, that was Everyday Misanthropy. I had so much fucking fun. I really, really enjoyed this. So, you know, if I go check it out, I will put everything in the description. Please support the developer, uh, Miss uh, Liz England. She did an excellent job at making this great game. So, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later, guys.